Hello, this is Distracted Lord, and welcome back to BMD Drive, and I am going to be taking a few more cars around the Enduro-Drome, and the first one to come up is this. It's the Abishu Pessima. It's the older version, I think, but it's it's an okay car. I've got, again, a four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive version here, simply because it just lasts that bit longer. Otherwise, it, it dies quite quickly, but let's get going. This version is also not slow. It's not the fastest car ever, but it's not that slow. I'm expecting to start breaking things, like the exhaust. The exhaust in a lot of cars is quite fragile. It also makes some pretty noisy noises and there you go there goes the exhaust and now it sounds like we have a far larger engine although does it make it sound like we have a far larger engine or does it just make it sound like we actually have the engine that we have and wow that went badly surprisingly quickly I think it's gonna do what it did last time in testing because what happened in testing was I broke the rear drive shaft and one wheel at the same time, and that seems to have happened again here. So I have a feeling it is either now one wheel drive, or my front wheel's bent. And I'm not sure which, hang on. Right, if I just, if I just stop here, and I fly it. That wheel is not spinning, where is that one? Yep, I'm one wheel drive. Already. I haven't even gone 200 yards and I'm already one wheel drive. And one wheel drive does not make it over, over these very well. That's the bonnet, don't grab the bonnet, that's the bonnet again, don't grab the bonnet, grab that. Pull the car out. Yes camera, thanks camera. Come on. Not, not great at climbing hills one wheel drive, that's not exactly surprising. It's just the, the it's four wheel drive, but it's it's rear drive shaft is made of glass. It just breaks so quickly. Like I literally have done a quarter of a lap and broken it already. Oh well, well I got to a quarter of a lap and broke it. Didn't even hit any big bumps, and now it really doesn't drive in a straight line. Yeah, and for some reason you seem to break one front wheel. It's weird. It's both the rear wheels lose drive and one of the front ones. And I haven't I haven't broken my radiator yet. If I do, that will be seriously mean trouble because my temperature is already getting quite high. Can I? No, not quite. Ow! I don't think that helps my broken. Yeah, that's that's really not done good things to my already broken wheel. I kind of just want to lose that wheel now because it's not doing me any favours. Basically the, there's, there's the question of would you rather have a broken wheel on your car or just not have the wheel? In this situation I think I'd rather just not have the wheel. Just turn. Don't turn very well with a broken wheel and only one... I did not hit that. Oh, okay, we can't go into third gear. That's a problem. Because that means I have to drive second gear. Oh, that's not good. That's not the right colour of smoke. I don't want that colour smoke coming out of my engine. Yeah, my stuff is going to start over. I just... just Full lock doesn't turn. I guess one wheel drive really isn't that great. Well, there's my, I lost my bumper. No. Oh, that that doesn't that doesn't look too good. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'd want to be driving a car looking like this. I'm not sure I want to see a car driving down the road looking like that. Like if you if you just saw that driving towards you, what would you do? You probably you you probably try and get out the way quite quickly because oh, it makes weird noises. Yeah, my, my temperature gauge has now reached maximum. That's going to be a problem. 
I feel my engine is actually it's just dying now. Don't seem to have much power left. Come on, we can't be last. Come on, third gear should I should be fine to go in third gear, come on. It's not too happy about being in third gear. That's kind of problematic. If third gear is too much. Okay, fine, we go to first. Oh, that 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 died. Two point two point five miles. That's like that's that's bad. Ah. So the second car to take on this challenge is my ETK 800 series. It's your standard BMW. This is the four-wheel drive version again, because just just a bit bit of extra life, sort of. And let's see how far this goes. Not too bad over the jumps. That didn't sound too good. But I mean, I haven't broke. Yeah, just as I say, I haven't broken anything. I instantly break something. Turn. And we have the flashy, flashy ABS lights. Thanks, camera. How very helpful of them. Stupid camera. Turn, you silly camera. But not that much. I assure you, I am in control of the car, just not the camera. Goodbye, bumper. Eh, looks a bit lopsided. How have I? How is that light attached on? Isn't the light attached to the bumper? Isn't that how you attach lights on? Not to magic nothingness. Ow, <laughs> that sounded bad. Bounce, and that's not great. I had a terrible landing, and now I've nearly spun. Not, not quite spun, just nearly. Come on, get to move on. Ow! Oh, how did I not hit that rock? I should most definitely have hit that big rock. Oh, I'm gonna hit that rock. Parked. <laughs> not getting. I am not getting off this. My my diff is saying no. You won't spin those wheels. Get off the rock. Perfect. Those snazzy J turns. Don't need to see the top of the car as much. My damage indicator is saying the front of your car is entirely ruined. It is saying there is nothing but broken stuff on the top on the front top top front of your car. Right, go. My back bumper's wobbly. Really wobbly. Uh, get across the jump. Right, there you go. Made it across the jump. Badly. Ow, that's my front drive shaft. And apparently what Oh right, my damage indicator just just if a drive shaft breaks, it shows the picture of the the drive shaft that goes to the rear wheels breaking. Yeah, that that picture's not the most accurate thing ever. I think we do now have rear wheel drive. Yeah, we've got rear wheel drive. We've got rear wheel drive. That's not that's not too helpful because drifting is not something that's particularly useful when doing this. Oh, that's that's not what your that's not what you want your boot to look like. If you put anything in that boot, it will probably just fall straight out again. Go with all your rear wheel drive, rear wheel drive failing to steer us. Oh no, I've broken that wheel. That's not good. My front front wheel. Yep, yeah, I can steer one of them. <laughs> Don't really have much control over the other. This. Yes, the camera. Yeah, this, yeah, this, this. Like, I can, I can steer with this one. I'm steering with that one. That one doesn't move. At least it's straight. 
Don't know where the the, the wheel is. It's completely broken. Oh, I don't think that helps. Oh, don't turn that way. Uh, yeah, it's not being useful. I don't want a broken wheel. Broken wheel is bad. Go, 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 go. Oh no, I don't know whether my back wheels are both work. I don't think my back wheels are working properly. I am literally just burning all of, all of, all of the rubber off my tire. Hang on, am I even steering? I mean, none, neither of my wheels are steering now. I'm I'm somehow still I'm somehow still moving. If I can get if I can get through here, then surely we're still going. I'm trying to steer. It's making no difference. Aha! We can we can steer. No, we can't. We're not going anywhere. I mean, we can we can do. I can get over here and then crash it. Two point three miles. Eh, not not the worst thing ever, but it's not that great. So the third car to take on the challenge is this: the Gavriel Blue Blue Blue. Wait, like, hang on. Let me just check. It is Blue Belt. I was right. Right. Anyway. It's it's an old muscle car. It's completely rear wheel drive. Has no ESC. Don't even know whether it has ABS. It will probably end up doing drifts at some point, and it's probably going to start early. That wasn't a drift. That was an understeer. It makes a lot of tire squeaky noises from it, all its wheels. Oh, that's that's too much over there. Ow! I'm damaging my engines are over rev risk. That's 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 the that's the problem with these old cars. They don't have rev limiters, so I have to be careful when changing gear to avoid over revving. Oh, that's that's a solid thing. We just didn't. I mean, my wheels still work. It's fine. No, nothing important was damaged other than my lights. Which are still working ish. Yeah, they still work, it's fine. Not my indicators though, don't need to indicate. Yeah, that indicator's not alright. Oh well, don't need that. It's not like not like there's anyone else here for me to indicate to. It is now something is definitely scraping on the floor. Bouncity bouncity bounce. Off go my hubcaps. Projectile hubcaps, yay. Ugh, that was Oh, oh, oh no, I've lost that. Now it looks like Demo Derby. It, it's definitely... If, if I could just get rid of that chrome front bumper, and and, and that, okay, I mean, fine. Look, the, the bumper is still attached on. But if it would if it would just happen to... Oh no, I've lost my radiator. But if, if it would just happen to fall off, then I would look nice and demo derby, but I don't think it's going to. It's it's hanging on by a by good old really strong thread. Beam is a bit weird sometimes. Like that bumper does not not quite sure how that can be attached on because if it was screwed on, I don't think screws can make things things rotate when they're on screws and roll it. Oh, how on earth did I not roll it? But things can't rotate that like that when they're on screws. But then things like wings are just attached on with glue. Turn. Not that much. Oh, thanks, frame rate. How did they not damage stuff on there? Right, go. Ah, uh, I'm overheating. That's another problem with muscle cars. Even with a radiator, they overheat. Seem to have listed a lot of problems with them, but they do have some good things, like they look nice, <laughs> and they do drift sometimes. But this is beam, so things don't tend to drift; they tend to just spin. Thank you for proving my point for me. Although we are now emitting a lot of smoke and 
Uh, blue smoke's coming out the blue smoke's coming out the exhaust. Lots of lots of smoke is emanating from my car. I don't want there to be that much smoke. Smoke is generally bad. If you see this much smoke coming out of your car, you should probably pull over. I'm not pulling over because that's not the point. Oh come on, spun it again. Oh, I'm really struggling for revs now. My engine's going. My engine's gone. Two point three miles. Wow, this has not been a great. We're still rolling, so I'm gonna keep keep counting. Can we get to 2.4? Come on. Come on. You can get to 2.4. <laughs> mm, we're not going to get to 2.4. We haven't got to 2.4. Nope. 2.3 miles. Things are not going too great today. Just just look, look at the state of this car. Wait, wait, hang on. Let me, let me just, let me just have a look. We're gonna start rolling, but oh well. Hang on, handbrakes. Right, there you go. There's like a weird flat bit here, like the engine is attached on weird. No, well, not the engine, like the front bit, there's no bodywork. I don't know how they make cars, it's weird. But that, that, that ended badly for this poor car. Oh no, look at my lights. Do they even work? My li how how do my lights work? How does that work? D does my indicator work? No, the indicator doesn't work. I know, I know, didn't. But the, how how is this light working? I don't think my light should be working when it's looking like that. The, the back from the back of the car. If you if you just like if if you go down here it, and ignore the smoke, it looks perfectly fine. And then you go around the front, and it looks like. Uh, well, it doesn't look as it doesn't look quite the same. It looks completely opposite. But well, thank you for watching. Don't get distracted. Go subscribe now. And until next time. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. The scores. Let me just show you the scores. Very important the scores. But thank you for watching. Don't get distracted. Go subscribe now. And until next time, goodbye.